हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन आर बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम विद अ वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सॉफ्टवेयर दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर ऑफ अ वेरी वेरी फिक कंपनी इन इंडिया आई एज्यूम दैट यू ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट दिस कंपनी सो दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इज इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर ऑफ अ सी वी प्लस कंपनी एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इज जी सी मॉप फॉर पी सी सो टूडे we make a video on gc mop for pc and it is early, we make a, a short video or we make a video of 5 minute earlier on this topic but but in uh, on that video we we not explain every every part of the software so in this video we will explain each and every option of the software so keep watching and let's start the video so what you should do just click google chrome and click on any profile and here you should search for gc mop for pc okay so when you click on gc mop pc you find many website but i download from this website just click on this and here you find download option just click on this when you click on this it will redirect to a next page which is our which is the download page wait for a few second and after that it will again redirect you to a finally download page just click this to download let's okay and start downloading let the down let the download to be completed when it complete we will show you how you install this just close this the download download is completed now click on show in folder and here you find the software gc mop for pc just right click on that and click on extract to gc mop for pc when you extract this particular soft you get the a folder name gc mop for pc just click on this here you find a exe file just click at run run at as administrator and click on yes and wait for a few minute you need to install you need to tick both the option just click on this and click on next and here you find a generate shortcut click on install wait for the wait for a few minute once it it is completed you will get the uh, successful notification it will take time now it is completed and you get the successfully installed message okay just click on run kvms and click on finish when you click on finish it will ask for a passwords so just create a password please note that this password must be alpha numeric now when you 
put password just click auto login after registration so if you tick this you need you you don't need to log in again and again and it will ask for a few question please select the question according to choice but i am giving the demo of this software so i just put anything here now it is login so when just click on this just close the devices and click and click on new so this is the interface of gc muff of pc software okay so first thing you should do is that just click on devices because first thing you should do you you should add the device just click on the device when you click on the device you should you see this kind of interface so here is two option auto search and add if you connect if you are on the same network means your and we are on your laptop connected to the same router or same network you should click on this it will out, it will automatically automatically detect the ip of your device and if you need to remote login your your device you should click on this this add option just click on this again here it is asked for device name you can put any device name here okay test device okay or you you should put any any name here for example if if you have a uh, dvr uh, dvr in office you should you should place office dvr if you should uh, install camera in home you should in the home and dvr it is all up, up on your choice and here you find a two option ip domain and sn note if you connect if you want to connect to a local network means your router you should connect your your device and you and your laptop connect to same network you should click on this ip domain and it will work only on this on this same network means on the same premises if you connect from another router it will not work so so, so you should select this and if you know to remote login any device you should click on this sn okay so so here i i select my option sn because i have my device is installed on the remote locations here it is asked for serial number so i put my serial number here okay you should click default group here and if you make any other group you can make it just click on username so here you should insert username please note that this username is the username of the device means the dvr nvr ip whatever you have it is not the username of the software and again it asks for password and again is the password is the password of the device means dvr anywhere ip camera it is the password of the remote device not your, not the not this software so please please be be take caution on at, at this place and if you need any confusion just comment me i will i will make you clear just click on add when you click on add it will take few minute note it this is when when it's come online it's all depend on your internet if you have a good internet it will automatically online within a few second if you have a poor internet connection it will take time so please be patient at this step okay once is connected the online symbol comes and all the things channel automatically it will detect and the model number it, it already detect so first thing you should do is this once it is connected the first thing you should do is that you should click on this device config when you click on this here you can change anything regard to your device means all the setting regarding to your camera just click on this here you find the software version whether it is upgrade available or not anything okay and then just, just click on the camera when you click on the camera just click on the camera here when you click on the camera here
you should change the camera brightness from here look if you i change i, I if i change the camera brightness here just click on this it is brightness is deemed and if you if you need to increase just click on the plus button in the same way you can you, you can increase or decrease the contrast saturation sharpness gamma mirror if you click on the mirror the camera will flip okay so all the thing like 3d inner backlight of if the if the light is coming from the from the uh, from the window you should click backlight on white dynamic whatever you want so all the setting of the camera you can manage from here okay and the second thing you do you can change the night mode also of this camera you can you can put a different setting for the night of the camera so you can manage all the setting of the camera from here okay and click on the save and click on the apply and then click on the save in my case all that setting is okay so i i i know i not need i don't need to change setting any any more so just close and here you find the encode parameter look this is the very important fact part of the uh, of this video or or the or the cctv setup for example if you need more recording capacity more number of you if you need to increase the number of days of your hard disk or of your camera then you should change the setting according to that for example here you find that h.265 is selected if it is h.264 it will take more space in recording and more bandwidth to online and here you found the bit stream 1024 so you can change the stream rate bit stream from here okay and you can change the watermark from means the things which will display for example this camera is uh, your kitchen camera so you should you should enter the kitchen that character will come over the camera okay so here again you find sub steam setting also so here is you find 256 kb kbps so you can change the sub steam also from here and if you need if you change the all the thing according to the your choice and you need to copy all the things to all the camera just click on the select all and copy so in this way you can change the setting from one camera and copy to all the camera just click on apply and click on save when you click on this so this is the very important factor for recording if you if you have for example if you have a number of days if you eight days camp recording even if you if you install one tb one terabyte camera one terabyte hard disk and your uh, num, num, maximum number of days is eight days and you want to increase you should change the stream rate and all the things from here it will surely it will increase okay now click on the network when you click on network and if you do, if you need to if you need to not the ip of the uh, of your device just click on tcp ip it will take time once this donut you you from here you you will get the ip address of your device here your ip address okay and here is the default gateway of your uh, of your uh, of, of your router okay means the ip of your router again in this way you can find all the things here event is very important here you find a storage all the things here LGD management record FTP whatever you want and here is the system so you can change all the things from here so just click on this and click the device also when you click the device this is the interface of the software so i will just click on the live view this is the first option when you click on the live view here you find all your device okay just click on this so here you find the live view up you here in this way you can change the live view of your camera and here is the option to save it 
so you can save for example this is and click on okay when you click on okay it will automatically save okay now the second option is intercom this option is very useful this option is for when you when you installed uh, intercom on your of, uh, on your device okay here you find monitor here you can find intercom option also you can dial anything here you found announcement here you found search option here you find card issue so when you click on the issue card or the, all the things you can username room number card number whatever you want in my case okay and the, when you click on intercom you can call anything from here when click on monitor just click on this and when click on bts you find that is online okay so this if you install the cb plus intercom this uh, this option is for you otherwise if you install a simple security camera then this, this option not for you but i will explain what what it does video wall video wall is very important part uh, this this option is is for for example you installed a uh, 100 cameras and you want to monitor all the 16 camera in screen 1 and again another 16 are uh, camera in screen 2 and another eight camera in screen 3 so so this option is for that okay you just click on test device here you find just click on this and if you want if you change video wall option this in this way and whatever you did just click on just click on the view for example here you find different kind of view just put a four 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 camera view click on click here so here you found a screen one screen three and screen four and click on the screen one and you should add camera from here so in this way you can change the video wall and option okay just click on this and here you found default group so and again you click on finish so in this way you can create a video wall option so i will exp i explain you that video wall is for if you have a huge number of camera and you want to display uh, each and unique each and every camera on the display for example if you have a four to five display and you need to view all the camera on our four display so you should uh, use this option event event is very important part of the camera but but right now the people are not using too much thing on of event okay so i will explain this all this this part on later on for example hi here you found that event config so it 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 is understand better here so now just just i will explain you a playback portion this portion is very important because each and every people should know how to check recording using this software just click on playback and what you should do just select your device okay and in record time you should always always select all record and in stream time you should select a main stream okay and here this is start time and end time so if you need to here you i put my start time and again here i put my end time okay just click okay and click on search when you click on search it will take time and now you can find the recording if you have continuous recording all the things comes here in a green in a green way okay just click on the camera and click on any any part here so it here you we find a time marker okay and if you need the download that particular camera just click on this 
सो वट यू शुड डू यू शुड सेलेक्ट अ स्टार्ट टाइम एंड यू शुड सेलेक्ट एस एंड टाइम हेयर यू स्टार्ट टाइम हेयर एंड टाइम एंड यू शुड चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट यू नीड टू रिड्यूस अ स्टार्ट टाइम एंड एंड टाइम हेयर ओके सो हेयर यू फाइंड स्टार्ट टाइम एंड एंड टाइम इफ यू नीड टू डाउनलोड ओके एंड जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द दिस ऑप्शन अगेन and here it it will ask for a format for example if i need to download it in for mp mp4 just click on this and click on okay when you click on okay you find your downloading start okay in this way you can you can you can download your record so first i i will tell you how to how to just check the recording and if you need to download the second part is that how you download the recording so this this is very important you should all know if you have any confusion kindly comment me so that i will make i will make your confusion clear and make us available also playback and key colon people people counting when you click on the people counting this option is for the ai camera nowadays it is very common have ai camera so if you if you if you buy a people counting camera of ev plus then then this option for you it will it will show you that how many people comes in your premises and how many people comes out from your premises so and the heat map heat map is also a very important part of the um, ai Uh, AI. After COVID, you you find that people are very much aware that if uh, about the temperature of the human. So this for is for it, it will it, this camera will track you, will give you a uh, temperature of a human or any any anything. For example, whether it is a human being or any devices, if it is have a more temperature, then it will mark you in a red. and click on the lock when you click on the lock this option is very very important so for example if you complain anybody that you uh, your camera is goes offline and it will when 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 they will come to your premises at that time uh, you find that your camera comes online so again it it is it, it create dilemma so what you should do you should you should just click on the system whatever log you want just click on all and click on the search when you click on the search so here you found that all the things here it were device and for client you just click on the device and click on the search so when you when you click on the search it will give you a it will give you a record of all the things from here okay so whether this camera goes online whether your camera goes offline all the things you you should you should Uh, you you get here and devices this option i all all already explain you so the click this option and the device if this option i also explain you earlier so just close this option event config so event company is very important for example your camera goes offline if somebody tamper your video or any any object comes in the video any audio which come abnormal so all the things all the events are here with a trip by interview and all the things and if you want a uh, send email for example if if your device is recording is full and you need a mail at that time so you just click on this and if if, if the camera goes offline you, you you should click on this and you And if you need a alarm sound then you should click on this so all the things for example any abnormality comes in your system and you want a message or you want a, a sound or you want a mail on of that particular uh, phenomena then you will enable this option and this option is very important but the people are not using this option so just close this again you find that tour and task Just click on tour and task. So this option is very important. Uh, it it's for uh, if you need uh, that if you have installed a three or four camera 
and you need if you have and if you if you change the camera automatically one by one or or two by two so this option is for that is for that okay so you can change you can make the uh, setting according to your choice and change when when it required PC and VR this option is very important so just click here when you click here uh, this software will just like up NVR means your system is works like a NVR you just click on the allocate so it will all the recording will record in your system and you can change the record plan channel management all the things from here so this option is for if you need if you if you record if you want to record your uh, all the recording in on your system on your local system for, for it means from on your laptop then this option for you let's close this and last and final option is user as the name suggests here you can create user you can you can edit the right of the user if for example if you need a user and you want to display the only two camera then you create a user and you should uh, just give authorities of that two camera and if you if you need if you need to create a user and you, you, you and, and, and you think that 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 user will not check your record so just you might create a user according to, according to that so this is all about uh, the DC of PC software hope you like Thanks for watching. Please like, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day.